And also today, I've been shopping on everything five pounds. I do actually have a couple of everything five pounds hauls, but today I am going to show you some crazy, crazy, crazy boots that I actually found on everything five pounds. So I think they've got all of their new season stuff in. They had so much stuff on there. And as I was scrolling through, I was like, that's interesting, that's interesting. Oh my God, they've got loads of this really cool stuff. So I am gonna be showing you what is in this box, which is so freaking heavy. Oh, this box, which is 5.1 kilos apparently. I've been weightlifting that. Um, but yes, so I'm gonna be showing you what is in this great big massive box, which hopefully you guys are gonna find quite funny. If you do enjoy my videos because I know a lot of you watch my videos, but you haven't actually subscribed. I have a huge amount of people that watch my channel and haven't subscribed. I think it's like 87% of people have not subscribed that regularly watch my videos. So please, it's absolutely free. Click on the subscribe button down below. You'll get notified of any videos that I upload. You can always turn notifications off if you really wanted to, but please don't because I do upload some really random stuff. I do have some really cool stuff coming this year as well, which I'm really excited for. And looking down at my floor, I have three other hauls to actually open up for you guys. So if you want to see those hauls and if you want to know when those hauls are going to go up, subscribe down below i'd really appreciate it and you guys that have subscribed thank you very much but now i've got my trusty scissors and we're going to get into this box and then i can show you what amazing boots we have today so if you guys don't actually know who everything five pounds are they are actually a company that sell everything on their website for five pounds well it used to be five pounds but i think now because of inflation and all that stuff some stuff is like five pounds 25 five fifty five seventy five so i'm guessing there were things that were like five dollars or five euros and they've had to put the price up not sure but the general gist of it is everything is five pounds on their website or thereabouts and it is not fast fashion as everybody says everything five pounds they they recycle guys so it's not stuff that you know has been made in china and then like really cheap and then shipped over and it's all on their website no it's actually from brands that cannot sell their products and so everything five pounds i assume buys them and then it goes upon their websites for five pounds so it's a great way, instead of it all going into a tip or into a landfill, it's a great way to recycle brand new shoes. Some of them do have faults on them, hence the five pounds, so they're unsellable, but instead of them going to landfill, you can pay a fiver and for a little defect that sometimes, sometimes is not that big, you're getting a good pair of shoes. You know, some of them are really great. I do actually have some favourite pairs of shoes from over £5 and they're better than ones that I've spent £40-£50 on, so just saying. Anyway, I'm going in for the first box and it's Sergio Tozzi. If you guys have watched my everything £5 hauls with shoes in, you'll know that good old Sergio does have some very odd, interesting shoes. But all these shoes boots, should I say, are based around the same kind of category. So as soon as you see the very first pair, you'll know what kind of shoes are gonna be in the rest of this video. So it's, it's just, it's so fun, so fun. So anyway, let's open these and see what we have. Oh my word, these are amazing. <laughs> oh God, I really hope they fit me. These are amazing. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't normally show you this bit, but oh my God. So the very first boot we have, oh my God. That is actually metal. I can see my face in it, hello me. <laughs> oh my God, these are amazing. <gasps> Do you know what, they are really, I know that they're pleather, they're not real leather, but they are really, really soft. The only thing is the inside doesn't feel that soft. It's like a mesh, but, I've had shoes that have cost 70 pounds, boots from New Look that were 70 pounds with exactly the same mesh inside. So, you know, oh, nice, it's a nice zip. Oh, oh, oh. And that material is definitely, definitely gonna stretch. 
because it's that really soft pleather so hopefully it will stretch out quite nicely i actually really like these look at that heel that cone heel is just amazing have you ever seen cone heels like this on a pair of cowboy boots oh my god these are just so freaking cool oh and i totally forgot to tell you and i'm so bad with this i am a uk size six and a half i buy uk size sevens for most things rather have shoes a little bit too big than a little bit too small and I, I will try and put the size chart earlier in the video but I will also put it here again for you so you guys can have a look at your conversions if you wanted to shop on everything five pounds everything is gonna be there for you so wow these are amazing I'm gonna get the other one and show you both of them together because they are just so freaking cool oh my god oh my god these are amazing what do you guys think of these I'm gonna get them tried on because I'm I'm actually speechless with how cool these really are these are gonna look epic. Okay, so these are so freaking cool. Oh my God, what do you guys think? I know I'm wearing black leggings today, so you're just gonna have to bear with me for some of the ones that come up a little bit higher. But what do you guys think about these boots? Oh my word, these are so cool. I absolutely adore these. I love that cone heel, the only thing with it is it is very narrow, so it is like having cowboy boots that have like, almost like a stiletto heel on, so it's a little bit weird. It's not that sturdy, but these are just wicked. I absolutely adore them. Oh my word. Oh yeah, what do you guys think of these? I think they're so cool. I am absolutely in love with these. I adore them. They are comfy, pinching my little toes a little bit, but it's to be expected because there are points, but these are awesome. So what do you guys think? Do you like them? Do you not? Do you think they're cool? Yes. Ooh. No, my ball fell over. Okay, so going in for the next one. La Bottine Seriante. I always say it wrong, so apologies if I have said it very wrong, but these guys tend to come up a little bit small, so we'll see. What's going on with these? I'm actually quite excited for these as well. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, okay. Yes, let me get them out and then I'll show you. So these are the boots and what do you guys think of these? So they are a little bit of a round toe biker boot, which is really, really cool. So they're not really on the whole cowboy theme, but I really wanted to get these and have a look because I absolutely love this contrast detail here. I think that's really, really cool. And I just, I think it's just, it's really cool. I mean, you've got the buckle detail there. These are actually, are these metal? These are actually metal. And I'm gonna be attacked by a dog. Ah, oh, baby! Hello, it's not a video without Hemi appearing at some point so you know first appearance of the year for my little d actually i think it's my second one yeah because she is in the door didn't she so yes hello little lady oh that butt's great butt's great butt bitches we'll go she's crashed on top of the stairs that's always a good thing so yes, these boots, I really, really like them. I'm hoping that they're going to be comfortable. I'm hoping that they're going to have stretch because it looks like it might you might struggle a little bit on your instep because that's quite small. You guys know I have a very, very tall instep so I do struggle with boots sometimes. I think that zip part there is very, very interesting. Not sure if it's going to um, annoy you. I think you definitely have to wear like skinny jeans or tuck jeans into it. You couldn't wear tights because that would ruin your, your tights with it. So, um, yes, yeah, so I'm very, very interested to get these tried on. So I'll show you the other one, which is here. There we go. That is the other boot. And I think they're going to look pretty cool together. So let's get these bad boys tried on. These are so comfy. It's unreal. And they're not rubbing on my instep. I could literally, these are ready to go. Like, oh my God, these are so freaking cool i absolutely adore these boots oh my god i thought this haul would be me just laughing at all of these boots but it turns out these actually aren't really too bad i mean these are really really comfy and do you know what this bit here does not irritate you you cannot feel that little bit of zip at the top that is so cool what do you guys think of these i think they're amazing i think they're really cool 
funky little biker boots and these are a fiver. Five pounds guys, five pounds, that is it. A fiver, I just, wow, I really like these. What do you think? Just some biker boots, yeah. Okay, so going in for the next one. Ooh, have another social Totsi. So these, hopefully, are gonna be really cool. Very interesting, interesting. <laughs> oh my god. I love this haul. This haul is amazing. Oh my word. This haul's brilliant. If you guys don't like it, I don't care. This is probably one of my favourite hauls I've done because these boots, these boots are amazing. So, what do you guys think about these? Wow, they are quite padded on the inside actually, which is really, really cool. I love cowboy boots like this. I mean, you've got the false alligator print, which is always good, false animalness is always really really good and i can't see any real defaults on there wow yeah no they look pretty good nice wooden heel we like wooden heels in our cowboy boots because they make really cool sounds but yeah it just it looks really cool i think the shine is a little bit off-putting i think it looks a little bit costumey but other than that i think these are pretty cool i think after they've been out and they've been worn a little bit and they've worn in they're so soft guys, they are so soft. These are gonna be really, really comfy. Oh, I've not had cowboy boots for years. The last time I had cowboy boots, wow, I actually wore them into the ground and I, they split across there and they split under here because I've worn them so many times and I got them resold and rehealed so many times. Anyway, the last time I had them, I actually had my Camaro and God knows I miss that car. I need another Camaro, so these are really cool. The other one, obviously, matches, and these are pretty cool. So let's get these tried on and see if I fall in love. Oh my word, okay, three for three. Oh my God, what do you think? I am loving these, and again, they are so, freaking comfortable it is unbelievable the heel is the perfect height for me there's no rubbing on the heel there's no rubbing on my instep they're not too tight around my calf which i love oh my god they are so comfy for five pounds for five pounds they're just so cool oh my word what do you think would you buy some of these i might say if you've got any in any other colors because i love them yes Okay, going in for the next one, going in for the next one. Ooh, okay. Giovanna, uh, let's see what we've got here. I'm wondering whether these are going to be biker boots, not like cowboy boots. If you guys want to know my fascination with cowboy boots, I am a bit of a country girl at heart. I was actually born and raised with in a big house with a big garden that backed onto woods and I was that girl that hung out with the boys and used to build tree houses and all that jazz. So if you wanted to find me when I was a kid, if I wasn't at church on a Sunday with my parents, then I was probably out making fires and building tree houses in the wood. But I also like things like country music as well. So yeah, country rock music, absolutely love it. Owned a few pickup trucks. So yeah, I'm, I'm kind of there, I'm kind of there. <laughs> I've got a dog and I think she's here to stay. So, let's have a look at these ones, Lickety. <laughs> wow, these are amazing. My mum will love these. Are you ready for these? Oh my God. Oh my God. These are so cool. Oh, and the, every, it's all metal. All of it is metal. And we've got a great big sole there. Wooden heel again, amazing. Oh my God, could these be any more of a statement? They're like cowboy biker boots. Oh my God, if you have a Harley or if your husband has a Harley or your girlfriend has a Harley and you want to make a statement when you go out to biker pubs, we've got one not far from us. Yes. Oh my God, could these be any more extra? I love them. Oh. Oh, and that zip is just fun. Oh, wow. There is like bits of glue around, which I suppose you could just pull off like I've just done. So this is the pair together. What do you guys think? 
I think these are wicked. These are wicked and they need to be tried on. Oh my God, these are so cool. I really hope they fit nicely because Oh my god, these are amazing. So uh, these are a little bit tighter on my instep, I will admit, but it is literally because of these bits here. So I don't know if you can actually loosen that off, but that is extremely tight on me. But I'm sure you'd be able to stretch them out if you had some really thick socks on with these. But what do you think of these cool funky things? Oh yeah, so if you are a little bit of a, a punk chick, a golf chick, or a biker chick, these are really, really cool. I think these are awesome. My mum would absolutely adore these because there was a little bit, she's she's a little bit of a biker. She's got a biker inside her, bless her. And she was a punk over in the 80s. So that's all really cool. Literally, my mum had the same hair that my stepdad now has. But other than them being a bit tight of the instep, they are really cool. I love them, not too high either. So yeah, get your punk up. So we've got two left, and they are both Sergio Topsy. Second to last, what have we got? What do you guys think of these? So these remind me of, I don't know if you've ever been to a rodeo. If you have been, they remind me of the kind of costume boots that the girls wear over there. Oh my God, there is some glue here. What, what, what? But, I think these are wicked. They're not gonna go up to my knee, I know that much, because I have quite large calves. So we'll see where they sit, but I like how they are actually gathered. So they're actually supposed to sit like this, which is really good. The material is a really soft pleather. I don't think it's actually leather, but it just means that it's nice and soft and it's malleable, which is really cool. And hopefully, hopefully it'll be able to stretch it out. But I love this stitching detail. I think this is so, so gorgeous. And it's so unique. God, what do you guys think? Let me get the other one. Let me show you the other one. So this is the pair together. They're, they're tall. They are rather big. What do you guys think to these? I think they're uh, very interesting. So I wonder who that is. Hang on. Okay, door to door salesman. That was so not worth it. <laughs> um, little trick for you guys. It may sound a little bit not very nice, but when you get a door to door salesman, if you really don't like buying things at the door, I suggest, and this is just my opinion, you don't buy anything at the door because you never really know what you're getting. You want to have something that is, you know, you, you can find reviews from, and I find door to door salesmen tend to be very, very pushy. So some of them are lovely, some of them aren't, but I always tell them that my property is rented because then they leave you alone and you don't have the huffle and the fuffle of standing at your door getting cold or letting all the heat in if it's in the middle of summer and listening to people that you don't want to listen to. I know it's some people's jobs, I know it is, but I would rather not. And when they ignore the sign on my door that says, you know, no canvases, no door-to-door -door salesmen, then yes, my property is rented. Anyway, these boots, these boots! We need to try these boots on, oh my God. What do you guys think? I kind of, I'm kind of digging them. I don't know where I'd wear them, but let's get them tried on and, uh, See how cool they really are. Oh, 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 wow, okay, so these have seriously, seriously surprised me. I knew that they wouldn't go all the way up to my knee because, well, I have really, really wide calves. So if you have smaller calves than me, these will come further up because that's all ruffled there. But I am so surprised how these look. I honestly thought they'd look a little bit, you know, like clown-like or, you know, like you're going to a fancy dress party. But actually, these could be so fashion. Like, oh my God, imagine wearing a white summer dress and these bad boys, oh yeah, oh my word. <laughs> okay, everything five pounds, you are doing the most right now. But I'm in love with these. What do you guys think? I absolutely adore them, they are so different. They are so cool. I don't know what else to say. I'm just, I'm in love with them. Oh my God, these are so cool. So unexpected. I honestly thought that they would look terrible, but wow. Oh wow. I think these are some of my new favorite boots. Okay, so we're going in for the very, very last one. And this box is massive. So I'm guessing these were a very expensive pair of Sergio Todsies. This box is really really cool and it is huge 
so. Oh, and it's textured. Oh, okay. <gasps> I'm so glad these are the last pair. Oh my God. What about these? Oh my God. God, look at that false python print. Look at this detail on here. It's amazing. I think they're supposed to be flames, but they didn't do it very well. I absolutely love all of these details. It's just, they are amazing. I hope I can get my foot in there because there doesn't seem to be a lot of room. Look at that grip. Amazing grip. Oh, that is so cool. Again, we have a wooden heel. Winner! And it's it's not that soft inside. I really hope these fit and go over my instep. Oh my word, these are so cool. And look how high that heel is as well. That heel is really quite high. But I'm hoping it's gonna be comfortable because you look at the amount of heel you've got there. So it's not just this little bit that is gonna be on a heel. It's like all of this is gonna be on a heel. I'm gonna actually do a video about how you can tell you've got some really decent heels at some point. So yes, that is really cool. Hopefully your feet will not hurt in those with them being so high as well. So, oh, so excited. Let's have a look at the other one, put them together. Da, 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 da. What do you think? I am now going to go and prance around my room in these and we'll show you what they look like on. Okay, so these were a little bit more difficult to get on because they are a little bit tighter around my instep purely because the heel is so tall. Look how tall that heel is compared to all of the other ones. Oh my god. But if I told you I hated them, I would be lying because I think these are really cool. I love that contrast. I think it's wicked. They're not my favourite out of the bunch, but when I say no, definitely not because I do like them. Weirdly enough, they... They are really comfy for saying that they're so tall, but I do actually think it would look better if this white bit was actually black and matched this bit. I think it would look a bit more, I don't know, subdued. But you know, give me a cowboy hat and I'm so away. Yes. I'm feeling cowboy vibes. You're probably gonna see me on Instagram wearing these throughout the spring and throughout the summer because these are so, so cool. Oh my God. What do you guys think? Could you do a little bit of, uh, a little bit of these ones as well? I really like these. Not my favourite, but that was them. So that is it for my boot haul from everything five pounds. What did you guys think to these cowboy boots or these western boots or however you want to call them? I think these are so cool. Oh my God. They have got so much range on everything five pounds. So if you like these sorts of boots or you want like a derivative of these kinds of boots, then there are so many on there. So go on there, have a look, buy them. I don't know if it was like a full fashion thing to have cowboy boots again. I know sometimes it does come around. It may come up in the spring. It may be like little lovely floaty dresses and some funky cowboy boots. You just don't know. But if you want to make it a fashion statement, make it a fashion statement because you, you damn well know that I am going to make this a fashion statement for spring. And it goes for a lot of car shows as well, so these are gonna be so super handy at car show. But let me know down in the comments which one your favorite pair of boots are, which ones that you would love to have, and hopefully they'll be on the website. All of the items that are in this video are linked down in the description below, so if you did like something, all you gotta do is just open the description and, uh, Click the link and while you're down there, click the subscribe button. So if you did like this video, do feel free to give it a great big thumbs up. It'd be really appreciated. And if you've not already, subscribe. It costs nothing, it's free. Subscribe, you're not gonna be disappointed this year. There's gonna be a lot of stuff coming because I'm trying to concentrate on you guys a little bit more. So thank you all so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.